16 kilometers and 5 hours 50 minutes later, I dare say I found Irente and Irente found me. This is not the viewpoint. I need to go up somewhere. Uh, maybe three days better. Google is a bit misleading, but neither which way we'll get to, uh oh, to the top. Uh, let's follow up. Oh, we'll find it. So, Habari, my people, this is Hello from Loshoto. So, I've just done a um, short hike um, up to the Irenta viewpoint. I am actually hoping that this spot is it. And if it's not it, it's still gorgeous. Like, look behind me. Can you see this amazing landscape? I'm going to turn this way a bit. Some people describe this place as the Norway of Africa or Switzerland of Africa. And you can clearly see why. This is one of the many viewpoints that you can visit. And this is just absolutely breathtaking. Lovely beautiful view um it's, it's awesome you, you gotta do this like you really have to do it on this episode of across all borders going east i say to you napapenda lushoto ni norway ya africa finding irente so today i am in lushoto lushoto is a highland town in the western usambaras it is one of the eight districts in the Tanga region. So you get a geographical orientation of where we are. Lushoto is a fertile valley at 1,200 meters, surrounded by different vegetation, pines, eucalyptus, bananas, and other tropical plants. This description you can find on Lonely Planet. What is interesting about Lushoto is that its location makes it a very good base for hikes into the surrounding hills. It is bordered by Kenya to the northeast, to the east by the Mueza district, to the northwest by the Kilimanjaro region, and to the south by Korokowe. It is within this background we take our hike, or you join me today for my hike to the Irente viewpoint. It was a very, very cool night and I'm just walking up to the common area, the reception. Hola, my people, at 11, I'm finally stepping out. For some reason, the sun has docked behind the clouds, which is absolutely amazing because it means I won't get bit up badly. I hope it stays like this for a while, um, but I'm gonna, I think you can see the flowers in the back. This is the lawn hotel where I'm staying. Uh, they uh, do not offer uh, tours, but they cooperate with a an ecotourism company right next to them and they offer tours, but I'm going uh, by myself for this one. And with my backpack, a bottle of water, a bottle of freshly pressed juice from my hotel, I take off with Google Map to find Irente. First of all, the hike takes you through a village right next to my hotel, so you pass through houses and it's really beautiful seeing how the landscape goes up and down and then you come out at a crossroad and it is at this point I should have turned slightly right according to Google but for some reason I moved wrongly and it changed to left. So this totally changed the time that I took to find Irente but it also gave me the opportunity to explore other lookout points along the ledge towards Irenta viewpoint. So do join me today as I take you on my hike to Irenta viewpoint. What's also very interesting is that I got to make acquaintances who helped me at the end of the day find Irenta. So let's go check it out. We're gonna go up to the Irenta viewpoint. And I've got little spectators on the way. Uh, up, up, up. Hello. How are you? You're going to be inside if you keep looking. Mm, we're going to go up. And I've got two little spectators trying to see which way. 
Nee, hab ich nicht. Because I go left and I still walk up to the viewpoint. I do not come out at a rented viewpoint. I come out at a different one. But what I find is that along this edge of the cliff, where you see the Arusha highways and the villages below, there are so many places to stop and look out, even before you get to a rented viewpoint. And having taken that wrong turn led me through certain parts and villages that I otherwise wouldn't have seen. Wandering up the forest path takes me to the viewpoint where I finally see someone on my hike. This mass is lying on the foundation of an uncompleted building. At first, I don't know if he's just looking at the view or sleeping. So I walk towards him and I say Mambo. He doesn't react. I say Mambo when I get close and I startle him. He wakes up, looks at me and I say, please, can you take a picture of me? He takes my phone, takes a picture, I look at it, correct it and he takes another one. Asante, I say, Karibu, he answers and he lies back down effortlessly on the ledge. And I'm being pulled by an empty building I noticed on a higher part of the cliff and I want to know what it is. I start to walk towards that empty building and I find another lookout point. And whilst I was looking at this particular one, I noticed Dismas had gotten up and gone to one of the rocks at the ledge. And that's how I saw, oh, there is a part going down and I want to go on it. So I start to make my way towards him. And that's how I get to make the acquaintance of Dismas, who is actually a potato farmer from Lushoto, but on that day became my hiking body, director, producer and cameraman. Um... Oh yeah, that's the drop, guys. That's the drop. Do you see it? It's wicked. So I saw a part next to the trees, so I'm thinking this is it. Ah, so you got up. <laughs> you got up to explore yourself, huh? Did you go down? Where did you go? Ah. Aha. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so when coming up, I'm going to cry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Guys, this is crazy. Do not dirt unless you got like a local with you. Where you come from? Nigeria. Nigeria? Yes, you know? Yeah. Niger. Niger. <laughs> Omo Niger. Okay. Wow. What's your name? This mass. This mass? This mass. This mass. Yeah. I can't take this mask. Be careful. Don't want to go tumbling down. Wow. <laughs> so guys, this one brought me down here. We made it to the ledge and we're gonna to try to shoot some shots from here. But it's absolutely crazy. It is crazy, it's beautiful and I'm gonna see if I can go back up, uh, but we're gonna try to do some shots from here before Asante. Okay, okay. So guys, this is one of the viewpoints for me rented and it's absolutely amazing. I've had the help of Bisma to come down here. There's a narrow part between two big rocks that you can climb and then you come back, come down here and you can have uh, this view of the cliff face and also the beautiful bouldering going down here, which I'm going to show you close up. But it's an, uh, a nice hike to do in the day and get all the different viewpoints around here. So if you're opportune to do it, make sure you do it because it's one of the highlights of coming to Lushoto. Um, especially if you don't have a lot of time this is a good hike to do so I'm gonna show you um, the view from that angle and the view from other places that is what we're seeing when you're here literally at the cliff edge this is what you do look at how beautiful this boulders are this is what you're seeing like absolutely amazing and there's another edge which I'm gonna try to sit on and get a nice shot from um, but now everything is about careful concentration 
and not bumping into anything because it's straight down from here. Another beautiful viewpoint and um, I don't know what is up there but there is a building up there and I think I'm going to try to make my way up there but this is an absolutely beautiful viewpoint. You have the rock formation from this side and you also have the main road so you can see that road going. There was a bus on it a few minutes ago but it's absolutely gorgeous to sit here and just uh, enjoy the environment and watch the rocks eclipse. What's beautiful is that you've got a lot of um, palm trees here on the cliff edge and they kind of like sway in the wind up there, elephant grass and dragonflies. It is very, very beautiful and breathtaking. I think if you can really explore all the edges of the cliff and you're going to get different uh, experiences from doing it. So try that. Guys, that's Mambo and we're moving over to Casiga. And from Casiga, we move all the way to that one, uh -huh. Mazinde. Mazinde. And from Mazinde, this part, this Lord, uh, okay, is where? Arusha. Arusha, ah, that way goes to Arusha. So that's the road to Arusha. up finally to Irente. So glad I bumped into him because I doubt that I would have found this viewpoint. But we're doing it, we're doing it and I'm super excited. So let's go see it. She's come through 2000. So when we find somebody we'll do that. No. So, wow. Oh my word. This Okay, we're gonna try and make our way up. I, I hold Sportifas, my acquired a guide. <laughs> He's really made my wandering worth it. Um, I'm happy I bumped into him. That's the kind of experiences I prefer. Um, Cause um, then you see a bit more, cause you get lost. And then you find someone that shows you the right way like he did and um, get and see a bit more so let's do it <sighs> so hi pascal hi how are you i'm good can you tell us where we are right now first of all oh no this is a little viewpoint mm -hmm. sambara mountain mm -hmm. 1500 meter here mm -hmm. above the sea level mm -hmm. 500 mm -hmm. so when you have time I told you we were welcome here, Rushoto, Tanzania, mm -hmm. and we have the three uh, press to go to see the viewpoint, mm -hmm. and we have uh, the hiking here only three days, mm -hmm. from here to Lukosi, Lukosi, to Langwe, Langwe, to Mtai. Mm -hmm. So it's best to go to see the Kilimanjaro from here, Usambara Mountain. Ah, okay, yeah, so you get a good when, viewpoint. When I don't see the the cloud like that, I can see the Kilimanjaro. Mm, okay. Yeah, so, so also we have the waterfalls here. Yeah, so I told you you were welcome. Mm -hmm. And when you need hiking for three days, you pay like $300. Okay, and what's the, per person, and what's the major attraction by the three day hiking? Uh, I can see the rainforest and also very, very monkey, colobus and white and chameleon and also I want to show you other something very nice, fruity from here. And we have plums, apple, peaches. So Christmas time is better to eat. And also there is a hotel to Mambo Viewpoint. Mm -hmm. I can sleep there only three days. So that is $300 they include sleeping and breakfast and lunch mm -hmm. and guide fees. Okay. It is offer for you if you come here, <laughs> but sometimes when people is coming here from German, then charging is like $500. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay guys, we have made it to the Irenta viewpoint. It is absolutely beautiful. If you come to Lesotho, make sure you make it up here. You get an amazing view of the city. You get an amazing view of the highway that takes you to Arusha and to other parts, Dar es Salaam. And what I love about this place is that it's a perfect hike. You can go along the ledge. So if you look that way, we've gone to so many viewpoints along that ledge. The different rocks that you see, we've stopped there. You can actually stop and look out there. So it's absolutely worth your while. To get to this particular viewpoint, it's a 2,000 shilling fee and um, that's to support the upkeep of the village. But another interesting viewpoint that we're going to try to see today is also, I think it's called the Professor Viewpoint. And that's next to Paradise Hotel. That one costs 5,000 shillings to go in. And um, you can have a beautiful sunset either there or here, depending where you prefer. If you do not want to repeat the hike, you can take a bike to come up to both viewpoints or a four wheel drive for paradise because it's a bit difficult. Otherwise, when you get here, ask for Pascal, who's able to take you on a three day hike to the Mambo viewpoint, where you can also sleep in the Mambo hotel and get to see lots of species in the forest, in the Usambara mountain range. So do make sure you come here if you come to Lushoto, because after all, they do say, this is the Norway of Africa or the Switzerland of Africa. Thank you so much. Ciao, ciao. After Irenta viewpoint, we started our way down to Irenta Farm Lodge. The good thing about this route is that you pass through villages and this is the point where you need to decide, do I want to do this hike with or without a guide? Because fortunately I had Dismas with me and he was able to point out trees, plants and different things as we walk past the village. If you did it alone, except you've read up about the species, you might have to be wondering what you're seeing or not even realize what you're seeing. So this is Fiox and that's the tree where it comes from and um, I thought it was a mango but it's not a mango it's um, I think it's like a peach it's like peaches probably the ones I bought as well my way in I used a different route I was following Google but this is like an easier route probably where the bike would follow and it shows the sign for a rent of viewpoint it's right next to the signboard for the cliff lodge and there's the school so that's a sign for you to know you're going the right way there's the school and this is like a much broader road than the one I followed and we're gonna head that way which is absolutely gorgeous the view this is the Karatusi it's a rather very tall tree as you can see, one like down the road. And I think that's the same one that we have in Nigeria as well, because I know the smell of the leaves. And um, they have a very strong smell, but also very beautiful in the skyline. When you come to this point, this is where you take this road up to Paradise Hotel, and this way to Irente Farm, and this way down back to town. So we're gonna um, go to Irente Farm. Today, no Paradise Hotel. <laughs> I'm tired, so let's go to Irente Farm. When we got to Irente Farm Lodge, I decided to get, I wanted a coffee so badly, but then they had this amazing juice offer, so I had the juice, and then at this point, it started to rain, so do note, during these months, the raining season, in Lushoto, it can rain a couple of times during the day. Do not let this deter you. If you find shelter somewhere, go under it, enjoy the views, wait for the rain to stop because it will stop and the sun will come out. Um, this is a point where Dismas took his leave and I showed him some gratitude for joining me uh, because I think he didn't have to do it, but he did it without asking anything. I was looking forward to the rest of my hike, which was another one hour walking back through the part that I should have gone in the first place. I love this one because it's just like walking through the forest and you have these huge trees beside you and it is absolutely breathtaking. You have bikes coming by you, people walking back from home. Um, it just takes you through um, the daily lives of people that are in Lushoto whilst you go about your hiking and um, adventures. Mambo. And to end the day perfectly, we had a grill and a fire outside at Alon's Hotel. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode of Finding Irente in Lushoto. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81. So I've got in here pineapple, banana, mango, um, cucumber. Absolutely amazing. With a litre or 1.5 litres, we're almost out of it. 
and I do need it to get light on my back. It's heavy, so I'm gonna go there and look for that young man I saw and get him to take some shots of video.